yards, no doubt, coming from Howard Kendall and Colin Harvey. Such a great Everton stalwart himself to the Everton players before they come out. Magnificent sight. And now the sight that 100,000 and millions around the world have been waiting for as the teams now come up the tunnel. Kenny Dalglish, the first ever player manager to lead out his team at Wembley. What a notable and really historic season for him to win the championship, now to seek the double, with Howard Kendall leaving out Everton on the left. Side Cup final underway. Brandon Howe, Liverpool, of course. I'm sure you don't need me to tell you in an all red strip. This is Steve Nicholl. Played in for Johnston. Ratcliffe is coming across to do the covering. And the ball squirting away conveniently for Sheedy. Lawrence in quickly. And the flag is up. <coughs> McDonald. That wouldn't have made Robelaar without the interception of Lawrenson. Now the chase is on. And it should be Bobby Mims. And now Liverpool with men forward. And an offside, Kenny Dalglish. Flag it up. Header only going to Johnston. Here is Jan Mulby. For once, the touch of Dalglish deserted him. And Reed now sending Lineker into the path of Gary Lineker. And Grubelar saves. But not this time. And Everton are in the lead with Lineker. season becomes 40 goals for Gary Lineker what a ball by Peter Reid out stripping Hansen Grobelar saved it first time almost saved it the second but Lineker was not to be denied David Pleat so quick with his reactions the ball was super just right he was fortunate that he wasn't racing against uh, Lawrenson and his reactions were the reactions of a natural goal scorer We've just got to all hope that he doesn't get that Spanish book out and doesn't desert these shores. And the excessive pace that Lineker has can just get behind them. And Nickel has a problem. He's wanted to push in and join in and support the two midfield players and leaving a space behind for Lineker to get into in that inside left channel. It's a problem that Liverpool will have to discuss at half-time, I'm sure. The last guardsman to uh, march away with his musical instruments and... Liverpool get us underway now, attacking the goal to our left. Would have been a super goal if they'd have got one on the end of that. Good play. Reed. It's been a very good cup final so far. Van den Hal. Eglin. There's not much to spare there. Oh, and Lawrenson gave it away. I think it was uh, a shot there by Sheedy, swerving away. Robert are looking daggers at both Lawrenson and Hansen. Two, four, six of it in the wall. Sheedy. Great free kick specialist. And Robert are pushing it away. Very early on in the game where he allowed Stevens to take one. But he's the man. Well, here he is with a corner. Curled in once more. Reed. Giving him another opportunity, curled in again. It's important for Robelau to get to it. Looks a bit edgy there again for Liverpool. There's another long cross to test him. And again, there was an extraordinary mix-up in the Liverpool defence in the end. Just look at that. Oh. Teammates. But for a moment... Anything but two men. Forcing it way through to Beglin. And now Dalglish 
off in search of something, but downfield there again for Everton. Now Wheeler. They've quickened the pace up now, Liverpool. Now Mulby. Now Rush. Yes! 1-1. One, one. Just when you thought their world was beginning to crumble, up pops the man who now scores his 32nd goal of the season, Ian Rush levels for Liverpool. Out of nothing, David Mulvey. Tremendous anticipation, super calmness, and that's why clubs pay fortunes for people like Ian Rush and Gary Lineker. Strikers who can take goals out of nothing. They've really set the game up, it looked as though it was going Everton's way. Suddenly it's going Liverpool's way. He's got Craig Johnston in space on the right. Here he is. Well, that was an extraordinary ball. When he's been on the losing side. So that may be a very interesting omen. That's quite right. He's also got an astonishing record in cup ties. That's his 16th goal in 19 cup ties for Liverpool. Amazing scoring rate. Scored in 121 matches, and Liverpool have won 101 of them and have never lost one, as you say, David. <laughs> Stevens again. Lineker off in chase. But Hansen would not be denied that time. And then a great save! Sharp header. Again out of nothing. And Grobola making a superhuman save there. Totally unexpected. The clearance came from a Liverpool player. There's Sharp getting up, and now just look at Grobola just flicking it over. Magnificent save, but it was a wonderful header too. Well, it's a corner for Everton. Really <laughs> decapitating an England player there. Now Trevor Stephen then with the corner. Grobola's catch, a safe and a good one at the near post. I think you can safely say he's come out of his crisis. On field. Side against Sharp, who hadn't got back quickly enough. Sharp play down towards Reed. Lawrenson getting it away, but not very far. Sharp again trying to readjust himself to get the right sort of volley in. Short touch there for Reed. Morning well, gives it away badly to Ronnie Whelan. He's got Rush on one side, Johnson on the other. Here's Rush. Delgrish. Oh, what a lovely dummy. Played there for Mulvey. Great strike on the ball, Jan Mulvey. And he hit it straight at Mims. 
there looked to be a gap between Mims and the post, I thought, but it's so easy from here. Certainly some delicate and some devastating play there by Jan Mulvey. Sheedy. Really would have sewn it all up. Johnston. Dalgleish. Here's Reed. Not over yet, but that's offside. It would be nice if someone went down injured for a couple of minutes just to give us a breather, Brian. Johnston. That's given away by Mulvey to Reed. And now for Sharp, who's got Lineker up as well. And Beglin doing a sterling piece of work there for Liverpool. And kept his head superbly after he'd done it. Eight minutes left. Here comes Sheedy. Little chip on towards Lineker. McDonald in before Heath. Whelan getting it out to uh, Johnston. Here's Rush. Well, delightful again. Mulvey. Oh, look at the space here now for Whelan. Dalgleish is making a run for him. One player's gone tumbling. And it's played across for Rush. from that sort of position. He knocked over a camera and he's knocked over Everton's chances as well. Watch Dalgleish. Absolutely brilliant Dalgleish there. Made a run right across the face of the goal to leave the space. Tremendous. The manager did tremendous. Good spot there, David. 3-1. Two for Rush. And one for Johnston. Jim Beglin, only 22 years old. Steve McMahon, who didn't get on. The man who did and scored two goals, Ian Rush. Not that they really, at that point, ever had a, a hand on it. Well, they're making off towards a most amazing bank of uh, photographers down by the goal line. And I've no doubt we shall see the usual team photograph and a team song and a chant and a digging up and down. First ever Merseyside Cup final won by Liverpool. Oh, there they go. They've done it before, and with the way they played, you sometimes feel they're going to do it again and again. Sammy Lee in the middle there, and Paul Walsh, who didn't get on, but are as happy as sandboys. <laughs> 